What we do know is that vaccination programmes are most effective when you can identify the right people at the right time and contacting and identifying ways to encourage uptake in all of our communities. And this has been a, a major challenge uh, facing health and care today. Our local experience has been that communities have been wanting to engage, uh, you know, through, uh, through the generations. And we've almost made this harder by putting in layers and layers of governance uh, terminology which doesn't speak to communities uh, and we haven't really just gone to the communities themselves and also we need to remember that our communities have got communities within themselves so we use very broad terms and you'll hear very broad terms like BME or black or Indian populations but actually we need to understand that the communities within those communities are vastly different both in terms of language in terms of cultural norms in terms of the influences that we need to um, target to get into those communities and so on and so forth so it's, it's that unhelpful language, which I think we, we, just, we need to turn on its head. Uh, and certainly in less selection, but we, we don't use hard to reach anymore. Can you tell us a bit more about the, the groups that we're talking about here? So in fact, I think it's not the usual groups that, that we hear again in, in media and, and in policy documents. Uh, so of course we work on our ethnicity cohorts and our diverse cohorts with um, specific populations, but also cohorts like unregistered patients. Um, so or other obvious, not so obvious cohorts like um, our factory communities, our traveler communities, our sex worker communities, uh, drug misusers. You know, it's about making sure we don't miss any of these groups because we're totally focused on the groups that we generally and traditionally measure.